Today's how to build is on Tingle from the Legend of Zelda series. If you haven't already seen it, my video on how to build Link from the Legend of Zelda is very similar in terms of the pieces and parts that I use, so I'll be referencing that throughout. You might want to watch it before even watching this one. In choosing a torso, you're going to want to make sort of the same choice you make for Link. Um, basically, you're looking for a green torso that has a black belt on it. Again, this is my favorite. Uh, I'm actually going to use this old Forest Man torso with the blue on it, uh, just because I think it highlights the blue on the rest of Tingle. Um, you could use a plain torso, this leprechaun torso, or old adventurer's torso could also work uh, having the belt. So again, the same sort of hats that we used for Link are going to work for Tingle. Uh, for Tingle, I actually like this gnome hat from the collectible minifigure series the best, uh, but again, a green wizard hat that's filed down, this old pirate bandana could work. For the face, the most noticeable thing about Tingle is his big grin, so depending on whether you want to use a yellow face or a flesh-colored face, uh, there's this big goofy jester face, uh, which also has a sad version, uh, and then there's this uh, face from Short Round from the Indiana Jones series that I thought worked well in flesh. For the legs, you're going to want to have green legs on uh, red hips. Again, if you're not familiar with how to take legs apart, you can pull them apart like that. Um, so you can switch around uh, the hips and the legs to make them the right color. Put our torso that we selected on there with the big black belt. Do green arms with the appropriately colored hands. So I'm using flesh colored hands here. Snap those on. Um, and then this will be his head and his hat, but before we put that on, we need to build his backpack. So there actually exists a big blue over the neck uh, backpack type thing, uh, which is uh, the right color and look for Tingle's uh, balloon backpack. Uh, the only disadvantage is you can't actually connect anything into it. Um, but uh, so if you want to build a backpack instead, uh, use this black um, over the neck piece with a stud on the back. And then take a uh, head like brick, put a 1x2 tile going up, and a 1x1 one one tile on the bottom. Uh, it's not going to look exactly like a backpack, but it'll hold it in place. So obviously, uh, this is going to look more like a real backpack, if we put that on. Um, but this thing that we just built has the advantage of being able to hold a Lego piece uh, and actually connect to it. So it doesn't quite look like a backpack, but once we put the balloon in, it'll look a little better. These are the pieces you're going to need to build Tingle's balloon. So we're going to start with these red upward 2x2 two two corner slopes. Uh, you're going to need eight of those in total. Um, so basically, uh, and then we're also going to use some just regular 2x2 two two upward slopes non-corner, four of those. So we're going to connect uh, four of those corner slopes at the bottom with some upward slopes in between, so build them together like that and then do the corner slopes. Obviously this relies on you having a lot of these uh, red slope pieces, but since they're used for so many roofs, hopefully you've got some. Next we're going to use some 1x6s and 1x4s to build up two layers on the balloon. I'm going to finish off the top by closing it up uh, with the opposite of what we did on the bottom, so two by two downward corner slopes and two by two just downward regular slopes. All in red, of course.
Then for the last touch on the top, we're going to take this orange um, cone that's two bricks tall and um, and then put this red one by one cylinder on the bottom here and now we've got Tingle's balloon. So if you made this little brick built backpack here the uh, balloon will just snap right in there and then it's much heavier than Tingle so you'll have to lean him forward a little bit if you want him to stand on his own. Uh, and that's what he looks like with his balloon from afar. If you went with the one-piece backpack, um, the balloon will actually still fit into that, um, but uh, it will not stay put very well. It'll shift around, but uh, it, it technically does fit into that um, blue piece um, pretty okay. You could theoretically put some putty or glue in there depending on how committed you are to this look for Tingle um, and you know how you feel about gluing Lego pieces. So a couple last touches. Thought this 2x2 two two printed tile with a map on it fits nicely in his hand uh, and uh, since he is making maps all the time, so that makes sense. Uh, and then this paintbrush from the collectible minifigure series uh, is nice so that he can actually be working on his map as he floats around in the sky. So that is Tingle, one of the most annoying characters from the Legend of Zelda series, but I'm sure there's some people out there who like him, so hopefully this video is helpful for all of you. And, um... In parting, I would just like to say, Tingle Tingle Kulu Limpa. So no one actually asked for me to make Tingle, but when I was doing my how to build video on Link, it just sort of naturally happened that I built a Tingle as well, so I figured why not show how to build Tingle. And if everybody hates Tingle, then just give this video a lot of thumbs down, and then I'll know never to make anything uh, f like this ever again. <laughs>